VoxelJet can manufacture complex plastic parts using a 3D printing process. It consists of a powder-based process that can be used to create investment casting and illustrative models measuring up to 1060 by 600 by 500 millimeters. When your CAD data is received, it is checked and prepared for the process. Geometries can be changed at any time, as this process does not use any tools. The printing process begins when the recoater applies the PMMA powder to the build space in 100 to 150 micrometer layers. At the same time, the printer head selectively doses the binder at the points at which the model is created. The 3D printer's vertical build speed can reach up to 18 mm per hour. This layer building method makes it easy to manufacture complex geometries with undercuts in one piece. After the printing process is complete, the models remain in the box for several hours for hardening. Then the plastic part can be unpacked. The unprinted powder, 100% of which can be reused, is removed with an industrial vacuum and compressed air. The moulds are characterised by maximum detail accuracy and precision. They reach their final strength in the furnace. For investment casting, the models are briefly immersed in wax to seal and smooth the surface. Design models are infiltrated with epoxy resin for added strength. The models are packaged carefully to ensure safe delivery to the customer. The wax infiltrated models are processed the same way as wax models. The conventional production of complex components such as wheels is very cumbersome and expensive. Voxeljet's 3D printed plastic models provide a cost-effective way of producing installation-ready cast parts using the investment casting process, as is the case here at stainless steel expert Schmalzen Bickenbach. This wheel has a diameter of 500 mm. However, the Voxeljet 3D printers can also produce components up to 1 meter in length and a total volume of 320 liters. The gating and feed system is mounted after inspection. The finishing process is the same as for conventional wax models. The first ceramic coatings are applied manually, while subsequent layers are added by a robot. The plastic models soften at 80 degrees C and shrink, so that tears cannot form in the ceramic shell. Finally, the 3D printed model is burnt out from the casting die in the kiln. The plastic models burn out with virtually no residue. Now the liquid steel, which is around 1,600 degrees C, can be poured into the heated casting dies. The castings are removed once the moulds have cooled. Once the casting is complete, gating and feeding systems are removed, sharp corners are deburred, and unwanted surface errors are repaired. This process is followed by non-destructive tests and size inspections in accordance with customer specifications. Whether for prototyping, individual piece or small series manufacture, additive manufacturing can produce highly complex designs and investment casting models within a very short period of time.